In this video, I'm going to share some original concept images that I spent a few hours putting together. To be clear, these are mock-ups that are not affiliated with Palantir in any way. Today, I want to take a step back and talk about what the future roadmap could look like for this business. Let's go. Overview I am not invested in Palantir because of what speculation you'll hear from me throughout this video. Not at all. I'm invested in Palantir because I think the two main software platforms they already have already are world class and ready for prime time over the next five years. The usage of Palantir Gotham by the United States Intelligence Community and Department of Defense speaks for itself as Gotham drives the majority of the revenue for PLT. Palantir Foundry, on the other hand, in its current state, is well below its potential market saturation, with only hundreds of the targeted thousands of clients using its software. Palantir has a massive opportunity ahead of it, with its existing products alone. However, some investors are turned away from Palantir, since its business is seemingly held back by its only value being ascribed to partnerships and contracts with other companies and the US government. That said, looking for far out, Palantir does need to be able to scale down from the current high-tier operations of DoD and Fortune companies. Foundry Light, the idea. I'm going to discuss what Palantir could do in the future to capture an ever greater amount of enterprise market share by moving downstream with a medium to small business product, dubbed Foundry Light. And shout out to Brian Griffo for the name idea. Light in this instance, is referring to the software stack being a simplified organizer with a more basic digital twin than that in the full-scale Foundry platform, yet still able to predict future activities and flag potential problems for small businesses. When creating the concept images, I was reminded about companies such as Square and Stripe in a market that Palantir could really bring their software expertise from higher levels into play for an even greater addressable market, considering there are many more small businesses than large ones. Foundry Light, the concept. I created two concept images. The first one shows the Foundry Light software running on a laptop and desktop. I included a sidebar with various tabs, some graphs and charts, nothing in particular, just revenue numbers and the like, but I just added a color scheme that I thought well reflected the lighter nature of more scaled down version of software that clients from any business of any size would feel welcomed in using. And the second mock-up image shows a Foundry Light login on a phone with the tagline powerful mobile data transformation. And on this one, I just have a Palantir ID and password fields for someone to log in with an already existing account on a smartphone to be able to access and manage the full power of Foundry Light from something as small and compact as a modern day smartphone. Foundry Light, the greater meaning. For investors, the way I think of a potential product like Palantir Foundry Light is as a hypothetical call option on this future product being wildly successful. It's not in the cards as of yet, much like Tesla's FSD completion is not yet a guarantee. Again, this product opportunity offers Palantir the ability to expand way beyond its current offerings, such as Amazon expanded past selling just books, Google went into marketing, hardware, and cloud services, and Tesla focused on AI and solar energy, among other sectors. It's about more than just disrupting government and enterprise software, but also creating new markets and ultimately an ecosystem through innovating to customer demands. And this really would would be the start of solidifying a Palantir software ecosystem with high-end foundry and lower-end consumer-grade foundry light with a bridge between the two. So just like Apple builds both the software with its app store and hardware with iPhone, Mac, and iPad, so nobody can utterly replace it, and just as Tesla builds an energy infrastructure with hardware, its cars, and software, its FSD, Palantir could be following the same general scope of unique product cycles. The question is how could PLTR scale and extend further to go mainstream so that every single day people use its software as many do today with the Microsoft Office suite. 
Foundry Light when, as far as I know, Palantir would be one of the first to bring such advanced computations to mobile devices if it were to rewrite today's Foundry and port it to mobile. Nevertheless, thinking this way about how to better push the envelope even years out can continue to fend off any potential competition. But you might be thinking, as I did initially, that Palantir already has something like this for mobile in the pipeline already planned. So let's rewind to Demo Day and see what they had to say. I want to talk a little bit about the future of Foundry and how we're going to increase Foundry's impact. We think about doing that in three ways. First, reaching more customers through our use case catalog and modular deployment options. Second, reaching more users so that Foundry can power every critical decision made in and across institutions. And this means getting Foundry into the hands of every user who needs it through things like a new mobile offering and enabling users across organizations to collaborate so that they can work together to solve hard problems that can't be solved alone, like the ongoing pandemic and climate change. And third, we're gonna build on what you saw in the demo and innovate in our approach to how AI is applied to operations. We imagine a world where every decision made is informed by the best data possible and decision makers leverage simulation to fully understand the wanted and unwanted consequences of their actions within complex connected systems. Over the past few years, we've seen Foundry extend from the offices of data engineers to every operational edge imaginable, from the shop floor of the final assembly line to maintenance trucks servicing global infrastructure to military bases and more. Our upcoming mobile offering enables customers to build, deploy, and manage purpose-built applications for mobile using the same point-and-click tools that they use for desktop. For example, a maintenance technician can use their phone to guide and prioritize their daily work using a triaging application powered by multiple data sources and meaningful models. From there, they can identify and investigate maintenance issues on site and use the app to quickly capture back additional data on the fly that then becomes available to their colleagues. So yes, that was something that Palantir had mentioned previously. But remember that Foundry Lite would be a much simplified stack, devoid of handling that which big businesses struggle to keep up with, and instead just focusing on the aforementioned scaled down digital twin to make predictions and flag problems across desktop, laptop, and mobile. Conclusion. That ultimately is how I see the future of a lighter Palantir platform for small businesses. I find this idea very exciting as the potential applications are nearly endless. And in other news, Palantir is holding a double-click demonstration series on Wednesday, April 14th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. You can RSVP with the link in the description. I'll have a dedicated video in the weeks leading up to the event but I am glad they are going to keep doing these sorts of releases, and I wonder if they will hint at any future projects such as this Foundry Light concept. And with that, I kindly ask you to leave a like if my work here was insightful to you, and do subscribe for access to future videos. Until next time.